Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the basics of forging a garden trowel from a railroad spike. So I have my special set of tongs and I have my railroad spike. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock this spike in the set of tongs and turn on the motor and get this heated up. Our piece is now up to temperature and we're going to go ahead and take it out of the forge and bring it to the post vise. Now I'm going to take my piece, lock it into the post vise, clamp it down, and take my twisting wrench, lock it onto the handle of the railroad spike and proceed to give it a good twist at an even and steady rate and angle. And I'm not going to look at it until it looks good. And it looks good now, so I'm going to check to see that it's all lined up and straight, and it looks good. I'm going to release the twisting wrench and inspect the piece. And bring it back into the forge to heat up the next section. So now that our piece is heated up, I'm going to take my hammer and proceed to flatten it out. I'm going to repeat this process several times. Now I'm going to use the cross pin to better spread the material. I'm going to continue flattening the piece out.
now our railroad spike trowel is uh, just about done. What we're going to do next is we're going to put a crease in the middle and uh, give it the curve that a trowel has and then we'll finish it up by smoothing out the edges and uh, putting on an edge. I'm going to use the cross beam hammer and this step to make the uh, centerfold. Then I'm going to round it off on the horn once I heat this back up. Now our railroad spike trowel is just about complete and uh, we're now going to clean it up and put a slight edge on it. Alright, so now that we have finished putting the slight edge on both sides to help it cut through soil, we're going to heat it back up and then quench it to lock in hardness. And there you have it, the trowel made from a railroad spike. And all that is left to do is just some minor cleanup and uh, a little bit of polishing and it'll be ready to use in the garden.